Alrighty, so today we're gonna to be building a fume remover. This fume remover is designed to kind of help take out at least a small bit of the fumes of which soldering produces when you're soldering. And you can actually really see the fumes when we actually solder something. So let's get started with this build. So to start out with, we gotta find some PC fans. And so I went going through my old junk to see if I can find a PC fan and I ended up finding a very nice PC fan and this is it here and this PC fan is a 80 millimeter by 80 millimeter fan you got minus on this side and plus on this side 12 volts DC and 0.16 amps um, or 160 milliamps um, with that in mind we'll need to find a power supply that's going to be able to power this from a mains power so it's time to go into the wire bin and see if I can't find that and was able to find a DC power adapter, and this adapter puts out 12 volts and 600 milliamps. This power supply should run this just fine, but to be sure, we're gonna test it all out and make sure. Next was to find a switch, and that's what we got here, and I got this out of an old electronic, um, it was like a, a phone adapter thing, it plugged into your old phone, and that's our switch there. You might, um, I've already tested this switch, so it does work. All right, with that in mind, the next thing is our filter. So we got our electronics figured out, now we gotta figure out our filter. So the filters, I wasn't quite sure, I wasn't quite sure what kind of filter to use on this thing. And I actually came across a milking filter and this is actually designed for filtering milk. And I live on a farm so it's really easy to get a hold of these. And essentially, I'm gonna use this as my filter and I'm gonna double it up to make sure that I definitely get as good of a filter as possible. My goal is to try to take the smell out of the room, if nothing else. Next thing is designing. We need to create a 3D model that's gonna hold this fan. It'd be nice to have it held. It'd also be nice if I can get a little rotation on it too. That'd be kind of nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into a design software, design something for this, and of course, 3D print it out. Alrighty, so the parts are done, so let's get printing. Alrighty, so while that's printing in the background, let's get to soldering. Here's our, our fan. What I wanna do is I wanna mount the switch on the side of the fan, and my goal here is to mount it right here, then you can switch it on and off from the outside. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be wiring my switch to the blue wire, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're all wired in. So let's hook these two ends up to our power supply and see if it works. All right, electronics are done. Now let's plug it in and test it out. Sweet, it works. That's the sound of the print being done. Awesome. Now to mount it on its plastic mountain. All right, so the one part is complete. So this fits on here like this. Perfect, and I still have yet to put the filter on, but this will go like this. And then here is our stand piece. We move this back. Here's the stand piece, and this goes on the stand piece like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap these pieces in right here. Alrighty, so a little bit of persuasion, and I got these in here. How cool is that? Next, we now gotta put the filter on. The way I'm holding these on is just using a couple screws. Screws are just pressing through there like that. Just like that. All right, now the filter's on. Alrighty, the filter is complete. Man, look at this. This is so, so, so cool. All right, you can get, so you can see it can tilt back and forth. We can turn the fan on and turn it off. All right, so now let's go ahead and test it out with soldering and see if it actually works. Oh man, that is working beautifully. Look at that, it sucks the smoke right up in there. You can't really smell it in here either. It pretty much takes it out. Man, that's awesome. That is very, very cool. I'm gonna be using this quite often. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week. Dun, dun, dun. It's fairly clean, so hopefully this will save some hospital bills. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> in the middle of this, and I didn't do it, and it's a little too late because I've already super glued it, but I do wish that it would have put some sand in the bottom of this, and that would have been awesome. Oh, man, this is definitely gonna help someone think, man. I mean, gosh, especially me, I like to play around with things on my desk, and lots of times I just- Cool, and if we take last week's 3D print and stack that thing on top of there like that, beautiful. No, I don't want to mess around with stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions of what you want to see me print, definitely request it.